Look at the pictures below. Identify the geometrical figure. Draw it and write its name. Now this is a picture of a TV. If you notice the TV, the figure of the TV is like a rectangle. Let us draw a rectangle over here. So the name of the figure is rectangle. Now this is a carom board. The carom board has square as its geometrical figure. So we will draw a square over here. And name of the figure is square. This is a picture of a yummy sandwich. Can you identify the shape of the sandwich? Yes, it's a triangle. So you draw a triangle over here. And name of the figure is triangle. So you can write it here. This is a mobile phone. Well, the figure of the mobile phone is like a rectangle. So draw a rectangle over here. Which means the name of the figure is rectangle. Now that's a bangle. It has the shape of a circle. So you'll draw a circle over here. Now write circle over here. Edges and corners. Now we will learn about edges and corners. But before that, look at this piece of burfi. Sonu's grandma gave her this burfi. Look at the burfi. What is the shape of the burfi? Well, yes, that's correct. This piece of burfi is quadrilateral in shape. A quadrilateral has four edges and four corners. See, these are the four edges. One, two, three and four. And these are four corners. One, two, three and four. Have you understood? These are the edges and these are the corners. Now let us take a small test. See this table. Observe the surface of the table. Surface means this portion. Can you tell how many edges this surface of the table have? That's correct. The surface of the table has four edges. One, two, three and four. How many corners does the surface have? Very good. You're right. It has four corners. One, two, three and four. Now the last question. It is very easy. What is the shape of the surface of the table? You are correct. It is rectangular in shape. That is, it is rectangle. Rectangle. Take a rectangular sheet of paper as shown below. How many edges and how many corners does a rectangle have? Well, if you notice properly, a rectangle has four corners and four edges. Now let us fold the paper in the middle to bring the opposite edges together. What do we see? The longest side falls exactly on the opposite side. The shorter side falls exactly on the side opposite too. So, the opposite sides of a rectangle are of equal length. Did you notice that? Alright. Square. Take a look at a handkerchief. It is a square. How many edges and corners does a square have? 
Well, let us find out. The handkerchief has four corners and four edges. Now, fold the handkerchief in the middle from top to bottom as well as from side to side to see if the opposite sides are of equal length. Now, we shall fold the handkerchief as shown alongside to find out if each corner falls exactly on the one opposite. Well, the corners match and so do the edges that make them up. Now fold the handkerchief over again. All the edges match in length. So all the edges of a square are of equal length. Note that we got a triangle when we folded the handkerchief. Triangle. How many edges does a triangle have? How many corners? Well, a triangle has three edges and it has three corners. Find this shape in your surroundings. Well, for example, the birthday cap. Now let's have some fun. Well, let us learn how to make a five-piece tangram. Take a square piece of paper. Find the center of the paper by folding it twice. Also, mark the center of all the four edges. Draw lines to draw the center of the sides and the center of the square as shown in the picture. Now, make five pieces of the square by cutting along the lines as shown in the picture. But be very careful with the pair of scissors. Alright? Now, using the tangram here, answer the following questions. How many triangles are there in your tangram? Well, let us count. Well, there are three triangles in our tangram with number 1, number 3 and number 4. Are all the triangles alike? If you notice, all the triangles are not alike. Can we join two of the triangles to make a square? Well, if we see properly, yes, two triangles can be joined together to form a square and that would be triangle number 1 and triangle number 4. Can we join two of the triangles to make a big triangle? That can be done as well. If we join triangle 1 and triangle number 4, we can form a big triangle. How many squares are there in this tangram? How many quadrilaterals? Well, there is only one square in the tangram with number 5 and one quadrilateral with number 2. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें